Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to the October channel news update. Now today I'm going to sort of just go through the, the analytics, give you a quick update on what's going on on the channel and then I am going to uh, discuss or begin to discuss FM21 ideas. It was of course announced it will be coming out end of November. Um, so it is just about time we need to start thinking about what we want to do for the next football manager. Um, but the analytics, as I, I think I've been sort of trying to figure out the best way to show this for anybody who's interested and I don't want to dwell on this for too long but I think this is maybe the best way because it sort of gives you the basic look of what's going on and then we can compare it back to this sort of time last year so in terms of actual views you can see last year we were about 17 and a half thousand this year it's at just under 22 so that's you know a nice little increase it is easy for me anyway to get discouraged thinking oh it's only 22,000 views uh which is ridiculous when you think about it 22,000 people watching uh watching me <laughs> But you know, when you compare yourself to sort of like like I like to watch, you know, like Loki and, and Lelujo and the other big guys, and you see the views they get, and it's easy, it's really easy to become discouraged by it. Um, but if I look back and say, you know, I'm up, what's that, five thousand views from this time last year? It, you know, it, it it is sort of puts things into perspective. That I mean, other than the fact, you know, twenty two thousand is a ridiculous number. Um, you know, it, it is it is improving and it is growing. If we look at watch hours again, this time of for September, we would just was well, just over 2900 hours watched um last this time last year it was just under nine just under 1900 hours watched so it's it's improved about a thousand hours which again is huge that's a massive massive increase subscribers is roughly similar uh last year it was 48 this year it's 49 um it's the time of year it is sort of for a football manager predominantly football manager channel anyway but um as long as that's going up that's fine. I'm more interested, to be honest, in rather than the subscribers uh, an amount, because anybody, I I subscribe to channels all the time because you you watch something, you're like, oh, that was good, and you'll I'll subscribe, and then I'll never watch them again. So rather than the subscriber count, I do prefer to maybe look at the views and watch time to see, you know, people that you know, that's people that are coming back and actually watching. Um, but obviously, it's fantastic that we're, there is still there is still you know growth there in the subscribers uh, and the revenue. Again, this, thank you so much. This is just people watching ads and. I'm forever grateful for that. Um, so that's that's fantastic, to be honest. 50 bucks, uh, I'll take that. Uh, and again, from this time last year, it's up about about $20, $20 which is fantastic. And it, it, uh, thank you again. I know it, it kind of gets repetitive, but... Um, so th yeah, that it shows that the, it is growing. It is it is getting better. Um, that's a percentage wise. That's that's a ridiculous increase year on year. So um, yeah, I'm, I... It's going in the right way, and uh, and I'm quite happy with how things have gone in September. So yeah, that's that's all really really good. Um, you can see the top ten videos there; they're all going to quite fit in the same one, not quite. Um, tutorials are always right up there for me. You can see why it's so important. Episode one of Barla Town and the Jays; it's still in my top ten. Um, the Leeds United is still in the top ten. Having a good episode one it can kind of suck people in. Uh, it's so important. Um, and you can see that even the second episode of Leeds is still at quite a, at quite a lot of watch time as well. So that's that's really heartening as well because that means again people are are getting sort of sucked in and watching watching the series, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, I've never done a first impressions video, but the the other park baseball one is it's 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 getting a lot of views, which is good. And then of course the two tutorials uh, or the main two tutorials are still are getting a lot of views, which is again absolutely brilliant. Now I have been forgetting to do a Patreon update for a couple of months. That's I, that's just me forgetting. I, I, I do like to try and be open as much as possible with with uh, with how I'm sort of getting on with with things. Um, so we're up to 15 Patreons now, which is brilliant. $84 a month, which is brilliant. Um, so it doesn't take a genius to figure out uh, a month. What's it going to be for September? About 120. Is that 125? Oh, math isn't my strong point. 135, um, give or take. So that's absolutely brilliant. I mean, this is kind of my main source of income um, right now. And th I mean, there's reasons for that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, so grateful for each and every one of those 15 Patreons. Um, this isn't supposed to be a support me on Patreon uh, pledge pitch, but there is a link in the description if you are interested. There's it's all sort of tears for, to, for me to sort of say thank you. Um, one thing I did want to mention, actually speaking of that, is on the Brentford series. Um, we do typically, um, typically it's I think it's tier three to have a player named after you. 
because we're getting so close to FM21, there's been a few, couple of people that, uh, that aren't technically qualified for that, but our Patreon supporters that have asked, I'm going to kind of open that series up um, for, for, t for before the end because, you know, it's only going to be well, a couple of seasons probably before FM21 comes out. So if you are a Patreon supporter on the Brentford series um, and you don't have anybody named after you yet, I I'm going to, as I said, open that up for Patreons. It's just sort of a bit of a general thank you for the last month or so of, of FM20. Um, now, one thing I did, uh, I put up a thing here for to try and help me figure out what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. I always try and make the videos that kind of I would like to watch, but... You know, I've been known to be wrong before and have poor taste. So um, just a quick six multiple choice questions just to try and give me an idea of, of what I'm doing right and what I am doing wrong. Um, so if you do have a second, I'll put the link for this for the thing in the description. It's also on the on the community tab on the on the channel. Um, if you do have the time just to get as I said, six multiple choice questions, just to give me an idea of exactly how I'm going ahead of FM 21. So I can try and, and make sure that, uh, I'm getting sort of videos out or content out that, uh, will sort of please the, the majority of people. You'll never please everybody, obviously, but, uh, just to try and, and, and make them as good as I can. Um, that of course now brings us to FM 21 and series ideas that I have. Uh, I've really, really enjoyed the Barlow Town series, The Impossible Dream, which obviously, and I think you guys have enjoyed it as well. Um, certainly, the the viewership numbers are still relatively, relatively stable on that, and we've, you know, we pretty much started that day one of FM twenty. So I'm wondering, do we do a, a series two of The Impossible Dream? Um, if we're going to do like a similar to the Barlow series, I'm thinking maybe Ireland or Northern Ireland. Um, kind of keep it in the British Isles for now. If it's something that, that is sort of continually um, popular, then maybe we can look to go elsewhere around Europe. Um, but I'm thinking maybe Ireland, Northern Ireland, if there's, you guys have any other suggestions of countries, Iceland is maybe somewhere we could go in the future, but I'm kind, I kind of would like to do Ireland or Northern Ireland. And I'll sort of pick a club. If I go do Ireland, I don't know, I'd probably do Galway, I used to play as them back in the day. Northern Ireland, I'd have to have a think about. I haven't really played the Northern Irish League for a long, long time. I don't remember who I used to play as. The other idea I had for an Impossible Dream series is India. Club and country. I don't know if Indian clubs can play in the Asian Champions League, but certainly as a India as a nation, as a managing the like a massive, massive country like that, if you can get a rich club and get youngsters coming through, um, kind of how we stumbled into a Wales towards the end, and it's something that, you know, for, for a series two of the Impossible Dream, I try and do more from the start. Um, but yeah, that's another idea that I had as maybe we could do yeah India um, as a club and country Impossible Dream. See if we can get them to a World Cup, um, and if we could take an Indian club to the Asian Champions League or FIFA World Club Cup beyond that. Um, so there's sort of two ideas I had there. The Footstep series now. Again, I've really, really enjoyed it. I think we've come across a problem where we became too good at Brentford for Aston Villa to then go and hire us because Villa, as a club, have, have not really been successful in that series. Um, like I said at the time, the last time I didn't get the Villa job, I did, I did sort of save a separate file to see... If it was possible for us, given that we had become we've become quite a successful manager, if it was possible for us to get the Villa job, or given that they kept saying we hadn't been in a relegation battle before, if it's just something where we just weren't going to be able to get it. Um, and basically, as I said at the time, what I was able to do is if I resigned from the Brentford job, Aston Villa did hire me. Now that's as I said, that's just, that's just a separate save that's had been deleted now because it doesn't have any any use to me. Um, so there is there there is a way that we could potentially get a, get around it to make hopefully you know it's, it's a learning process to make a, a, if we were to do a second series of footsteps, uh, it would be hopefully a little bit more successful. We'd be able to move on. Um, managers I've been thinking about um, the old uh, the old British managers that sort of get around the leagues. Warnock, Pulis, Big Sam, Martin O'Neill. He's a personal favourite of mine. I really liked his team at Villa. Um, so that would be sort of for more of a British. English league system kind of a thing. I'm open to any other manager ideas that you would have. And the other ones I thought of are maybe guys that have been around Europe a little bit more. So Sven Goran Eriksson, Bobby, was it Bobby Robson? I think it's Bobby Robson, isn't it? So Bobby Robson, who was at um, at Newcastle at the end. And Roy Hodgson as well, who's been around Europe a little bit. And again, any other suggestions uh, I'm open to. So that's kind of uh, the ideas I have for a second series of footsteps. I do like typically starting off the new FM with a with a first star challenge. We've done Everton, uh, FM 19. We did Leeds United 
for this one. Um, a couple of teams off the top of my head that would interest me. Sheffield Wednesday, who I remember being a sort of a good Premier League team that have fallen off a little bit like Leeds you know, when we took over them for this FM. Newcastle United and West Ham, just nightmare ownership. Uh, I think they could be an interesting challenge as well. Um, but yeah, any other suggestions that you would have there would be would be quite uh, would be appreciated. Uh, another idea that I had, and it's not an original idea, and I've got to say I got 100% sucked into Bobby G doing the Pentagon Challenge in FM20, and it made me wonder: is that something that I could do? Uh, if you're not aware of the Pentagon Challenge, basically win the Champions League in every confederation, so Asia, North America, South America, Africa, and Europe, of course. Um, it wouldn't include Oceania, basically, because it's not in the basic game. Um, yeah, and I'd have to get a... I could maybe do it if I got uh, like a, an add-on patch thing, but... I think maybe for a first attempt at it, I would just maybe stick to, to the sort of the, the, the leagues that are in the game to start with. Um, yeah, so that's something else that we could do. Bobby G has, well, I don't want to ruin it, but he, he has just completed the challenge. Um, and yeah, as I said, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So that's something maybe a little bit different that we could do as sort of the, the long-term save in, uh, over the series. I do like to typically have one long-term series um, and then one, something like a first star of footsteps thing where um, we can sort of get new series going so that it's sort of, again, it's, it's from the sort of the channel side of things. So it's constantly attracting new, or hopefully anyway, attracting new viewers. Um so that's that's ideas that I've had. If you guys have, and I know I've asked for ideas before, and what I've stupidly done is I'd, I'd written, I always, I was writing, writing them, I had written them, written, that's the word I'm looking for, written them down on, on a notepad, and I've, like an idiot, finished the notepad, um, and then thrown it out. So I've, I've thrown away all the ideas that I had written down. So I've had to start again. I've got it on a Google Docs now so that it won't, it won't disappear on me. But any ideas, other ideas that you guys have, if you'd like any of these, if you, any tweaks you'd have to any of these, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm sort of get going into full blown brainstorming, um, ideas now. So, uh, yeah, any, any feedback that you'd have suggestions very much welcome. And I'll make sure I type them into a Google document that will not be thrown into the garbage like an absolute idiot. Um, but that's all guys. I just, as I said, like to keep these as short and sweet as I can. Um, just a massive, massive thank you for continuing to watch. If you do have time to go and do the, uh, the survey, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, I'll give the Discord a quick plug. If you're not already on the Discord, absolutely love the Discord interacting with you guys. So go and join that. Again, a link in the description. Uh, there's a link to my Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Um, I will always try comments on YouTube, Twitter, uh, interactions, Discord. I always do try because I genuinely do enjoy the interaction. So um, if you're not joined up in any of that yet, make sure you go and do so. Uh, but that is it for the channel news update. I look forward to uh, yeah to the November update and having some maybe some more concrete ideas for, for Football Manager 21 uh, as well. So thank you guys. See you next time. Take care.